south? Uh, you know, I, I think we, we stalled out offensively and, um, you know, I, I think we made multitude of, of errors, you know, starting with myself, a lot of things that we could have done better out there and, and uh, Tulane came, played a solid game, but, you know, we, we weren't ourselves today for sure. Are, are you hesitant to throw it downfield? Do you feel that way? I wouldn't say that, no. What, what can you guys do to get maybe a little bit longer passing game going? Yeah, you know, that's something we're, we're definitely going to have to work on and, and something we'll, we'll look at on film. You know, it's not something we're, we're afraid to do, not something I'm afraid to do. Uh, just something we're going to have to work on, you know. Today, I think we, we missed that element and, and something that we needed. What was that two-lane front? Uh, I think they were solid, you know. We, we said it all week. I know I said it early in the week that they were going to be disciplined and, and be a solid group, and, you know, I, I felt like they did that. They mixed up some of the fronts they were given and some of the pressures they were doing. Um, and we knew they were a well-coached team and they were going to come and play hard, so I wouldn't say that was surprising on our end. Why was it such tough sledding on those third and short, fourth and short opportunities? Yeah, you know, that, that's something, again, we're going to have to go and look at on film. You know, uh, I think they, they played it really tough, played it solid, and and uh, some opportunities for us that, that we usually capitalize on that, that we're going to have to look back and, and uh, get fixed. The uh, pass at the very end of the first half, was your first read Malik there, and how much were you thinking just make sure – get the ball you know out before the clock is zero yeah that, that was definitely a factor we wanted to get points and we couldn't afford to get stopped short um and have the clock keep going uh, i will say you know boundary end dropped out my my first thought was to play deuce um he had a little option route there and then figuring that it was zone i was going to play inside out and malik would kind of be last in that progression um, you know, we talked after and he felt like he was open. And so again, that's that's something I'm going to have to look back at on film and, and see what, what that look specifically was. Are you trying to play conservatively with some of your reads right now? Uh, I, I wouldn't describe it that way. Um, you know, I think you always want to take what the defense has given you. And, you know, I felt sometimes that it was better to check the ball down um, on some of those other plays. and. Again, you know, hate to be repetitive, but that's something I'm just going to have to look back at on film and, and see um, if I had an opportunity to get it more down the field. You know, everything I was hearing on the sideline, I, I felt like I was fine in my reads, um, but going to have to see it on film. How do you guys bounce back from this? Yeah, you know, this team's resilient. Uh, I know we have a lot of great leaders, a lot of veteran leaders, and, uh, you know, it's some adversity. We're 0-0 we're zero zero in conference play, so that's the next step for us. I know we, we ought to have our eyes set on the next week, and um, we know we, we have a talented squad and, and one that can bounce back, so that's our focus.